What is Water Hammer or Water Surge in a system and why is it so important to protect against it? Hi everyone and welcome back to our channel. I'm Martin from Complete Pump Supply and today we are discussing what air and water surges are in a system and the risks they present. Firstly, what is water hammer or water surge? Well, water hammer can happen to any system that has pipework with valves, pumps etc that allow for the control of water flow throughout a building. The sudden closing of a valve can cause a high pressure shock wave or surge to travel throughout the pipework as the liquid is forced to stop or change direction quickly. In most cases the surge in the pipework can be heard straight away and sounds like knocking or banging of pipes. For high rise buildings the effects of water surges can be quite damaging and pose a serious risk. Each high rise building will have at least one riser which is the main pipework from the basement to the top floor that connects the smaller pipework on each storey. In our example we have a water pump set installed in the basement plant room of the building. As the water pump set is activated water will be boosted and travel up the riser to provide a pressurised supply to each tap, toilet, shower across the entire building. If the pump was to stop operating maybe due to a power cut, engineer's works or fault on the system, the water pressure in the building will gradually decline as taps and such are opened and the remaining water in the system is drained. As this water is coming out of the open taps this can create a vacuum in the pipework depending on whether there are non-return valves or pressure reducing valves in each part of the system. When the power is restored and the pump begins to operate again and the restored system pressure to preset levels the worst case is that the pressurised water is pushed into a vacuum and the water will accelerate beyond the expected design velocities. This will cause a hydraulic shock to the pipework potentially beyond the test pressure of the system. These high pressures can cause weak pipework or connections to burst, causing potentially used flooding and expensive water damage within the building. Not only is this expensive to fix, it means downtime within the building's water supply and also a serious health risk to those people that occupy the building at the time of the burst. So, what can be done to avoid this? Ensuring you have a booster set with a surge protection feature is a great precaution. So when the pumps are powered back up, they are limited on one pump and gradually increase their pressure and avoid ramping up too quickly. As well as this, an air and water surge protection valve can be installed to the top of each riser. This device forces air through the anti-surge orifice when the system is filling which allows for the deceleration of the oncoming water supply thanks to the resistance created by rising air pressure in the air and water surge valve. This softens the potential pressure spike when the air and water surge valve finally closes. The air and water surge valve design ensures effective deaeration under all pipeline flow and operating conditions via either one of three discharge orifices. Now for the technical details. The air and water surge valve is a RAS approved product and available in one standard connection size which is 25mm or 1 inch BSP. It weighs approximately 4.6kg. 
it has a pressure rating of PM10, a maximum temperature of 70 degrees C or 158 degrees Fahrenheit, maximum rise of pipe diameter is 200 mil, the overall dimensions are 95 mil wide by 337 mil high. Now you can find out more about the air and water surge protection valve on our website by simply searching AWSPV or by clicking the link in the description below. That concludes today's video. For more explainer and product focus videos, please subscribe to our YouTube channel now. And thanks for watching.